Hello all, this is Sangameshwaran Manike Mayer. I am a cybersecurity specialist. So this is the National Cybercrime Reporting Portal for India. This is uh, developed and created under Ministry of Home Affairs. So you can go here and report any online uh, cybercrime complaints which you want to do. So when you click there, like uh, you get an option. You can either, you can go into the uh, helpline details. You can learn more about cybercrime or you can file a complaint online. So you read the information about like how uh, you have, you can read the frequently asked questions as well as the privacy policies. So it is clearly mentioned that uh, the action would be taken as per Indian laws. You click on accept. So this is reporting anonymously. So you can see that the category of complaint, there are four different categories. So there is a child sexual abuse material, sexually abusive content publishing or transmitting sexually obscene material in electronic form and uh, publishing or transmitting of material containing any sexually explicit act in electronic form. So you can choose any of those things as per your uh, complaint. So in this case, I'm going to choose the third option, publishing or transmitting sexually obscene material. You have to mention the approximate date and time of incident receiving, then you have to choose uh, your respective state. In this example, I've chosen the state of Kerala. And in Kerala, I've chosen uh, Thrissur city as the district. So once you choose the district, uh, you'll get an option in the drop down as uh, which police station has to be chosen from that. So you can see Thrissur East, Thrissur West and Cybercrime Police Station. So I'm choosing the Vanita Police Station. And where exactly this uh, incident uh, occurred? So there are other online platforms mentioned in the dropdown. So email, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, WhatsApp, or YouTube or LinkedIn, any of those things. So in this example, I'm choosing Facebook as the platform. This incident occurred on Facebook. And then you have to give your Facebook ID. I'm mentioning sample ID, but you have to give your details. So supporting evidence, upload media and image. So that is where you will upload your proofs, what you have like screenshots and other things. So you'll click on add and then you will provide any other additional information about the incident as and when it is required. When you click save and next, so what happens is that then you can give uh, enter details about the suspect details preview and then submit it. So that's how the complaint gets registered online on this portal. So you can also report and track. There is another option for reporting and tracking. So you file a complaint uh, and then you give your details like if you are here as a new user, you can create as a new user or you have to enter your login details like your sample login ID. Choose your state and then your mobile number. Uh, get the one time password, enter the one time password and submit the capture response on the respective fields and then you click submit. So the benefit of doing like this is you can track uh, your cyber crime complaint which you make using this portal that is the benefit of having a report and track option so you can also see under cyber volunteers like what exactly is an unlawful content so if you're signing up as a cyber volunteer then uh, it is clearly mentioned that uh, you are definitely required to study article 19 of the indian constitution which primarily deals with the freedom of expression so here you can read about uh, what are the different uh, sections or what, what exactly is an unlawful content. And it's clearly mentioned that uh, uh, so a separate section has been given. So under resources, you can go and see uh, the cyber safety tips as well as cyber awareness. So cyber safety tips are given for both parents as well as uh, children separately. And so under cyber awareness, there are details about like financial fraud, job fraud, matrimonial fraud. A safe use of social media platform and if you want to uh, contact like who who should you contact if you register a complaint so if you register a complaint using report and track option then you can go here and then you can search the state name so in this case if you choose Kerala as an example you would see who is responsible as a nodal cyber cell officer and who is the grievance officer so in the case of Kerala uh, Inspector General of Police uh, Sri Srijit uh, IPS is responsible uh, as the nodal cyber cell officer. There is a grievance officer details as well. Thank you all.